commentary is protected under fair use law. And welcome back to Yokai Watch Babylonging, the show that only two episodes in is covering its namesake. That's right, today we're covering the man, the myth, the legend, Babylon, the prime example of a classic yokai. Babylon's effect is quite simple. They make the affected rattle on and on and on. If you've ever had a rambly teacher, or had those two kids in the back of the class that just won't stop chatting to each other, then you've likely bore witness to a Babylon attack. By the way! Huh? I have a wacky old uncle named Murph who always rides a bike! I got this! Uncle Murph, who's gotta be 90, rides the same old rickety old bike every day! What's happening? Babylon's actual contributions to the plot are pretty slim, so I'll go through them real quick here. When first facing Babylon, it's established that he can inspiritnate to make him too busy talking to summon a yokai, which throws a wrench into Nate's plan to summon Wazat so that Babylon forgets what he's babbling about. Just like the takes I cut out of these videos. This is fixed via the bizarrely effective plan of getting Nate to say, Yokai Metal, do your thing, which somehow slots the Yokai Metal into the watch and summons them. This implies that this phrase isn't something Nate just says, but is necessary and even integral to the yokai summoning process. In the first Yokai Watch 3DS game, Babylon also hides along the overworld, disguising themselves as talking plush bears. When discovered, these Babylons give characteristically rambly tints and hips. I said tint and hip. Let's just get to the stats before I mess up any other words. Babylon is rank C, has the water attribute, and is from the Slippery Tribe. And uh, just a heads up, because Babylon is such a minor yokai, they don't have separate pages for Babylon in the anime and Babylon in the video game on the wiki. So their video game stats are sort of mixed up. This means there will be types and aspects to stats that were not in my Robanyan video because it's sort of a combination of every video game that he is in. His HP at max level is 990 and has a stat rank of E. His power at max level is 800 with another stat rank of E. Also at max level, his spirit is 840 and his speed is 1000, both stats being ranked Ds respectively. Finally, his defense at max level is 760, with another stat rank of E. Babylon is also a skilled loafer, meaning that while loafing in battle, he will also recover HP. His moveset includes an attack called Full Swing, which does 80 damage, an attack called Rapids, which does 50 water damage, an in spirit move called Keep Chatting, which causes an enemy to act less frequently due to them chatting on and on, and finally a ultimate move called Babble Blast, in which Babylon slaps the enemy with their nose for 120 damage and has a chance of cancelling enemy ultimate moves. I wish there was more to talk about, but he's really just a one-off bit character. But Babylon is annoying and horrible, I love him, and he should be the mascot for info dumping everywhere. Did you like this video? Did you think of stuff that I should have covered but didn't? Do you have a story in your life of a time where it seems like someone, even you, must have been possessed by Babylon? Please comment it down below so we can discuss it, because just like Babylon, I love talking more than anything.